Okay, so let's learn about terror monsters. The first thing you might be wondering is, where the heck is it? Uh, it took me a few hours before I even knew it was in the game. And so you have to unlock it. And you do that by, first of all, at your air balloon platform, getting that to the third star. And once that's at the third star, you unlock Port City Luca. Let's head over to it. And you also have to upgrade Port City Deluca to its third level right over here it used to be that you had to get it to level six but the developer wanted the tarot monsters to be closer to the beginning of the game so now you just need the third one once you unlock the card shop you'll meet maximilian you'll get your tarot finder to find cards out in the wild and you'll start running into a cast of characters known as the big five now this is the inside of the card shop and we've got Gobby duelists. There's always at least one gobby duelist in here, and um, they have 10 HP. You'll start with 10 HP as well. And then you have harder opponents. This is actually the leader of the Big Five, Erica. So first, I want to take you to the gobby duelist and show you how the game is played, and then maybe we can build a better deck that only that only uses basic cards still to take on Erica. Okay, so in order to duel someone in Terror Monsters, you just walk up to the table on the opposite of where they are. Okay. okay. So, before you can even duel in Terror Monsters, you have to build a deck. And before we can really talk about why I've chosen these cards, we do want to do a gameplay. But here's a deck that you can build from only cards that you get. Um, either in the wild or in your starter pack. So you don't have to beat any other duelist to get these cards. So I'm just gonna show it, and then we'll talk about the cards as we play. We have Lizard, Phoenix, Worm, Fireball, Pyro, Frogwort, Warlock, Angel, Pegasus, and Castle. Okay, so let's do a duel and we'll talk about all those cards. And of course, how to play the game itself. So Terror Monsters is a card game. Each player starts with 10 life. Uh, in this case, you always start with 10 life. Sometimes your opponents will have more life than you, just to make the game a little harder for you. And each player draws three cards, and you always go first. That's kind of nice. I like going first. So we actually have some options for our first turn. On the right side of the board, uh, where this zero in a blue gym is, that's our Arcana pile. We're going to pile cards that we've used over there to pay for future cards that we want to play. And in the top left of these cards is the cost. Phoenix and Lizard both cost no Arcana, which is good because we don't have any cards that we can take out of here to pay. Now the difference between Phoenix and Lizard is their defensive effects. They both do two damage on offense, but on defense, this guy has a blue shield. And I like to call that an active defensive ability. But that's a, a card that you can play on your opponent's turn. And when you can play a zero arcana spell on your opponent's turn, all that is doing for you is helping you build up your arcana. So it's a very great thing to do. Now, the green plus is a passive uh, defensive ability, and it works while it's on top of your arcana stack, so you want to play it on your own turn, and you can't play it on your opponent's turn unless it has a blue shield. So we want to play the phoenix and hope that we get a uh, chance to drop this lizard on our opponent's turn. So we play phoenix, and it deals two damage. And once you play a card, it moves over here to the right and becomes your Arcana. One. So we have one Arcana. There's one card there. Since it has a passive ability, it's shown right here what it's doing. Now what our opponent did is not really what you want to be doing. Uh, they didn't have a zero Arcana monster to play. So they did this Arcana boost. Now there's nothing terribly wrong with that. Sometimes you can even hit a very good passive ability, 
but that just puts the top card of your library into your arcana stack so if you can't play anything you can at least build up your arcana until you get to the point that you can okay so my opponent didn't do anything all of these cards are very uh they can all be played on my opponent's turn but i think we should play the castle so we can show how this arcana thing works so the castle costs one arcana and it also deals three damage and can't be blocked or reflected that's that's interesting so let's let's pay one arcana to do three uh, and see when we pay one arcana that card that was over here disappears and the castle joins as the arcana okay now we got lucky here because our opponent is actually playing an earth monster uh, and our worms reduce an earth monster's damage by one so it'll be zero the castle said it can't be blocked or reflected but the damage can be reduced so keep that in mind in the future okay now we we have the ability to play frog War, and our opponent only has one arcana so they're a little less likely to be able to stop this i'm gonna go for the win right here play frog Wart. deal six damage and we won okay so every time you win a duelist battle get you 10 duelist badges which you can spend on the card machine in the top left which is next to the uh, duelist gift machine the card machine gives you 20 of the cards 20 of the cards you unlock you unlock through the card machine and then the gift machine has a full set of champion uh, furniture and decorations and eventually a duelist trophy okay, but go gobbies are kind of easy there's a group of of uh, there's a group of tarot monster duelists that sh show up from time to time in the card shop known as the big five uh, the first one you should meet is Bridget okay so let's duel Bridget as you can see up here, she starts with 12 life. Um, each big five member above her will have two more. So Maya has 14 life, etc., etc., up to Erica with 20 life. Uh, the decks are approximately equal in power. The main difference is that HP. So we're going to start with Excalibur. These cards that deal extra damage when you're low on HP are great against the big five because you start behind. So you start off with a zero mana, three damage. That's awesome. My opponent's reducing earth monster damage right now. So normally here I'd wanna play the guardian, I think, because it has the passive defense ability. I wanna save this for my opponent's turn. I would play the ribbon. Ribbon will do two damage and I will get that bonus of preventing three damage, which is a lot of damage prevention for zero mana. <laughs> okay. So you might, uh, so first thing I saw Medusa and I saw Krabby and I'm like, oh, I get to reflect a Medusa. But that's not a good play at all. Is Medusa, he's top arcana is not fire. Her, sorry, her her top arcana is not fire. So Medusa is only going to do three damage, and it's also being prevented by three. So if I've reflected it, it's going to reflect zero at my opponent. So that's completely pointless. So I just want to throw a spore down and get my arcana up a little bit. So she just threw a Medusa away, which is not a great plan, I, I would say. So she's mostly fire. I kind of want to keep Krabby in my hand. If I play Warg, that's going to cost two Arcana, but I have three, so I'll have Warg and one other Arcana left, so I still have two Arcana for Krabby. So I'm going to play Warg, do six damage. My opponent plays Hive Mind, which will do two damage. Um, that's fine. Just going to throw a Cactus out there. The Cactus doesn't add to the Arcana until after this has resolved, so it's not going to do more damage. 
Uh, but now I have three arcana. And I have some options. So I think I still want to hold Krabby because Cyclops, uh, even though I'm not behind, it still deals three damage, and that's what my opponent has. It's a safe play. And there you go. That's how you beat Bridget, the first of the big five in uh, Terret Monster. Okay, and now that we can beat Bridget, uh, you just kind of work your way up like that until you can beat the toughest one, Erica. So, so let's let's do a game against Erica, and we're gonna change our deck um, because we've unlocked some new cards by being the earlier big five members. Let's just assume we beat Bridget. So Bridget's gonna be there when you when you first open the card shop, so you can fight her immediately. And unlock these cards and then maybe if Erica the big five just show up randomly it can be any one of them if Erica the toughest is there here's kind of what you want to do the claw so what makes the big five tougher is that they have more HP than you Erica starts with 18 no Erica starts with 20 HP that's double what you have so these cards like the claw that deal one damage plus two if you have less HP are very powerful because they usually do three for zero arcana and here I'm going to take out the <clears throat> either the Pegasus or the Warlock I'm gonna take out the Pe Pegasus to make this a little more well in this case we want to take out the Warlock the only color that Erica doesn't use is light so we're going to take out the Warlock, and we're going to add the Claw in. And otherwise, <clears throat> this basic deck that we've been using is very good against Erica because as her most powerful cards are Dark, and these all block Dark monsters. And then we have some more answers for other things over here. So let's take on Erica with just those basic cards and the cards we got from Bridget. All right. So this happens sometimes. Uh, even though we have five zero Arcana spell monsters, we don't have anything to play. I try to avoid that. That's why I build my decks usually with five zero arcana monsters but in this case we're going to use an arcana boost and that's going to build our arcana up by one now we actually got something interesting here uh this can boost our pyro on our next turn by two so you do get the passive ability of the monster when you get it from an arcana boost and then in that case i'm not going to use pyro to block an earth, earth monster i'm going to use pyro to deal six damage so as you see, she did start with 20 life. We're now at eight because we just took two, but we're gonna do a good hit here with the pyro. All right. <clears throat> Jelly deals three damage plus three if your top arcana is water. So if your top arcana is the furthest one toward the center of the board, uh, but we each have one right now. And his is Earth, so this jelly's only doing three damage if it hits. Uh, my Pegasus blocks Dark Monsters, but it would cost my only Arcana, so there's no point in playing that. But I do want to play the Angel. Even though its active defensive ability, the Blue Shield, doesn't do anything, it will give me two Arcana to use on my turn. Because it doesn't cost anything to play. Okay, from here... I don't want to use the Pegasus because my Tarp Arcana is not fire. The Phoenix might be a good choice uh, because it has that passive ability. We want to play it kind of soon and hopefully get some value from the passive. And if you don't, that's fine. But we could also go for six damage here. Our opponent only has one Arcana, so it might be hard for them to stop six damage. So, in fact, I think I do want to do that. 
And now we've got Erica below 10 health herself. Okay, so here we have a ghost dealing 2 damage. I could block it with the Pegasus. Or I can play a little riskier. I can play a little riskier and I could uh, use the Pegasus to deal 6 and then try to survive the next turn. I think against these opponents that have really high life totals, you want to play it safe generally. I'm not sure that this is the right call, but I'm going to do it. All right, that passive reduces incoming damage by three for each fire arcana that Erica has. Um, she has one blue arcana and one dark arcana, so she doesn't have fire arcana. So it won't, it won't do anything. Okay. So between Lizard and Phoenix, we're going to play Phoenix because it has the passive green plus sign of effect. We can't play it on our opponent's turn, unlike the Lizard. Something to note, the Worm and the Lizard are exactly the same card. Okay, my opponent's trying to do 2 damage for each Arcana we have. That would be 4 damage to us, that kind of hurts. Uh, but, do we have any option? No. So, we are going to throw out the Lizard. Its effect doesn't do anything, but it builds our Arcana up. Okay. So, our opponent is reducing incoming damage by 1. Our castle can't be blocked or reflected. It doesn't say it can't be reduced, so the damage will be reduced. Uh, if it, they tried to reflect it, it wouldn't, wouldn't work, but it, it can be reduced to two. Now my opponent could easily reflect a, a water attack with two arcana up. So I think the safest play here would be the worm because then we have a good defense of being able to block a dark monster or reflect a fire monster. But that's a little scary because we're only doing one damage here. Okay, so our opponent played Pyro, which is a fire monster. Uh, we have four Arcana now. We can play Frogwort, pay two of those mana, use its active defensive ability, and reflect the Pyro reflect all four damage back to my opponent now you saw that his other card was reducing incoming damage but that actually only counts when the card attacks so first when a card attacks a monster attacks it figures out how much damage it's gonna do and then it's reflected okay so we've got our opponent down to one easiest way to win here castle they can't block or reflect it it's unlikely that they're going to reduce it down to zero. Play the castle. And we be Erica, the leader of the big five. Uh, one of the toughest competitors you'll meet in the game. Besides Maximilian himself. Accept the reward. Okay, now I want to show you how you duel your fellow villagers. Uh, it's a fun thing to do. You get the same rewards when you win. And for... Every time you beat a villager, they give you a statue of themselves that you get to build. So, it's fun to go through, beat all the villagers, and build yourself maybe a little memorial to the founders of your city. But in order to battle, you need to have a turret monster table. Uh, it's an interior decoration that you will need to get to finish Maximilian's house. Uh, so I just use Maximilian's table, because it's here. So you hang out with the person you want to duel, and then you just walk them next to the table that doesn't have the chairs or anything. Stop hanging out with them. Walk across the table, click on the table, and you, you're ready to duel. So let's duel Laura with our uh, deck that we just used to take out Erica. Okay, so we're dueling Laura with the same deck we used to take out Erica and the Gobby Duelist back at the card shop. Uh, our only plays the lizard, deals 2 damage, no passive effects, so I usually like to play those on my opponent's turn, but it's fine to not. Uh, right here, the angel I can play on my opponent's turn and gain arcana. Uh, the pegasus 
with one arcana my top arcana is fire dealing six that's the card i want to play so we deal six here to laura and we got her down to two already so we might be in good shape okay so pyro is dealing four damage to us the angel even though its ability doesn't do anything i want to play it to build my arcana up Now one card we got is Claw, and this card is not very good against uh, most villagers or gobbies when you start with the same life total, but when you play uh, the big five or Maximilian who have more life than you to start, these cards become very good. I'm just going to try the Worm, try to do exactly two damage. And there we go, we beat Laura. Okay, but Laura's the easy one, right? I want to take on Maximilian. He's the only villager that has a different life total. And it's not that he has 15 instead of 10, or even 20 instead of 10, like Erica. Maximilian has 30 life. That's kind of spooky. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set him down here. And before we duel, let's modify our deck to be more of a deck to beat Maximilian. Right now we have something that's really good against Erica and just good in general, but let's try to find something that beats Maximilian. We're mostly afraid of his red and his green cards. So we're gonna bring in red and blue to counter them. So the first cards we wanna bring in, because Maximilian starts at 30 life is the claw which will almost always deal three damage for uh, zero cost. We want to bring in the water type, so we want to bring in the whale. We're building a fire water kind of deck. And then the other two are up here. You'll get that from the uh, card station. If you haven't already unlocked these, you just buy them for 35 duelist badges at a time, and you'll get them from those machines. Uh, and this one is the Merfolk. It also works similarly to the Whale. Uh, it deals 5 damage for 1 Arcana. And it has a very flexible defensive ability. And then over in red, we have the Jin, which is uh, the exact same thing except red. So we're going to put those in. Those are absolutely great against Maximilian. And then we want to put in some of the more powerful red cards. We're focusing on red. Uh, Medusa is one of those very powerful red cards. Uh, she's like Pegasus that we used in our other decks, but she herself is a fire, which can help in certain for certain things. And she can block earth monsters, which is more important than blocking a dark monster by far, since Maximilian doesn't play dark monsters. So we're gonna put so we're gonna put Medusa in here, and then I always want to have be able to reflect his two scariest types of creatures, which are the green and the red. So we're gonna get the fireball to deal six damage or reflect an earth monster, and we're gonna get frog wart to deal six damage or reflect a fire monster. We need more zero cost things, and so I think. One of the most powerful powerful ones is right here in the light section. Uh, the Judge. That card can really protect us from a lot of incoming damage. I'm going to pick up one Judge. And then in or order to keep Medusa and to a lesser extent the Claw, in order to, to make sure we get value from those, I want to build the rest of the cards to be red. Uh, so personally I like lizard and worm they're exactly the same they're just cards we can play on our opponent's turn and that kind of fills out our our can I think this looks pretty good and it's very flexible so we have defense against fire we have to begin against earth and 
for his water monsters, we can even use a Jin because it blocks anything. So here's Murfolk. our deck against Maximilian. Claw, Whale, Murfolk, Jin, Medusa, Fireball, Frogwort, Judge, Lizard, Worm. Hopefully we can do it. Uh, even with a great deck, it can be, be, be hard to beat Maximilian. He's got three times your so HP. So let's do That's nothing to Maximilian, the toughest duelist in the game. Here we go. So Maximilian is just like any other opponent, except he starts with 30 life. Uh, luckily for us, we get to go first, as in all Terret Monster games, the human player goes first. Opponent, opponent uses an Arcana Boost that does not have an effect, so that's a good start for us. And we do actually have a fire creature that we can play and get that extra bonus damage. Even though I would typically want to play the plus sign, the passive defensive ability, instead of the blue shield, the active defensive ability. In this case, since it's a fire monster and it gets plus two, you want to play the fire monster. So this hive mind is going to deal one damage. I could completely get rid of it with the merfolk. I could deal one damage back at my opponent with the fireball. I, I'd rather keep these cards because protecting one damage compared to dealing five or six damage is not that interesting. Okay. Right now, I think I want to play the whale. I do want to get that passive ability out. And he did block it, but now he doesn't have that card probably to block this uh, merfolk. Excalibur is only going to deal one damage once again, so I'm just going to take one damage. And now I'm going to play the merfolk. That'll leave me at three arcana. My opponent's extra incentivized to use a big earth monster, which I can reflect with fireball. So I play the merfolk. Reduces the damage by one, but that's okay. It's going to do six damage, seven damage anyway. We're in good shape. Okay, so my opponent kind of threw me, threw us a curveball there. Played the Basilisk. Uh, if I take six damage, I'm just going to die. So I'm going to play the Jin and try to reduce it. Puts us at four. That's not where we want to be, but at least we're alive. Okay, so now we have two of these active abilities. The safest play right here is the judge. Um, this lizard won't do any damage. The judge won't do any damage either, but its passive defensive ability is going to protect us from up to nine damage, which is, is you don't get more than nine damage. So opponents, <clears throat> opponents attacking for six damage. Uh, I'm gonna throw the lizard out here to build our arcana, and so that the top card is fire for Medusa. Uh, playing this card doesn't cover up our passive ability until it resolves. So we took zero still. Okay, now I have Frogwort, Fireball, and Medusa. They all deal six damage. The one I want to use is Medusa because it doesn't always deal 6 damage and because it doesn't have as powerful of a defensive ability. These can reflect. Reflect is a really powerful effect and probably how you're going to gain the advantage in this very hard duel against Maximilian. Alright, so my opponent's dealing 2 damage with a Kraken. Oh, I lost my... So that was, I guess, clever. I'm going to throw away the lizard to try to draw a better card. But I am going to have to take two here. Okay, my opponent's reducing incoming damage from fire monsters. Uh, so I'm going to play the whale. Do three to Maximilian. And 
or just one to Maximilian, and really hope that Maximilian plays into some of these uh, reflect effects. He's playing a weird. He's is playing weird. Luckily, we do have the Merfolk to save us. Otherwise, we would lose right there. All right, we drew our whale again. Since we have so many ar much Arcana going on over here, our deck is very small. <laughs> Most of our cards are on the field or in our hand. Okay, so we're gonna uh, the same logic. We're gonna do the whale. Opponent blocks again. That's fine. Okay, opponent finally plays the basilisk, so we can play frogwort. And reflect that. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, man. So we we want to pay at least one. Uh, my lizard saying it costs one. It should cost say it costs zero. That's a bug. That's interesting. I've never seen that. Uh, Medusa is not great because our top card isn't fire, but I need to. I want to get Frogwort back into my deck, so I'm gonna play Medusa anyway. Deal the three damage, which turns into one, and but that will knock Frogwort off back into my deck. And lucky me, I drew him, and it worked exactly as planned. My opponent. Drew another big fire beater. We're gonna reflect it with Frogwort. They gain one, but they take exactly five. And we just beat Maximilian, 30 HP, the hardest opponent in Terra Monsters in Littlewood. And there you go. There's some gameplay. Yeah.